Welcome so back today. We're gonna to be talking about the ep the newest episode of the Daryl Dixon Show that just aired tonight. And oh boy, this one was one of the greats. We got a little bit of character development from all fronts. We got backstory to who the two main new characters are. And then, of course, we got the classic Daryl being a badass. So let's go over the main point of the episode. Laurent. Laurent has character development that might hinder the series a little bit, but, you know, that's just the classic kids. And yeah. So Laurent is starting to become self-aware, which could be is like a double-ended story either that's a good thing and he starts like understanding and like wanting to help or it becomes a a handicap and he starts like denying everybody because they won't tell him um <clears throat> personally i don't know why they wouldn't tell him because it's like He's a kid, and most kids want to be superheroes or, like, want to help people. So, telling him that he's the cure and could po could possibly save this world, it would make everything a lot easier. But, of course, it's a TV show, so we're not going to get any of those realistic things. And, and now we're going to go... Back to the main point of the video. Laurent's immunity. So, we've never actually seen a zombie birth like we did in the what, the Last of Us show. Now, do I think that The Walking Dead copied The Last of Us? Honestly, I don't think so. And the reason I think about... The reason I say no is because the time. So the Daryl Dixon show was in pr was in production for like two years. Um, as soon as The Walking Dead ended, they were like, "Okay, let's make a Daryl Dixon show." So, yeah, and then what did the did the Last of Us show come out like last year? The Walking Dead ended like two years ago, right? I think I don't remember. So, yeah. So this whole entire plan of Laurent, Laurent's backstory was probably made before uh, The Last of Us. Or The Last of Us show. So, spoilers by the way. Spoilers. I'm probably going to put a card at the beginning of the video. Uh, spoilers. So we find out that Laurent was actually birthed by the sister, maybe, of, I don't remember her name. <laughs> but yeah, and as soon as um, Laurent was born, okay, so the aunt got bit, or Laurent's mother got bit. So... That means that the zombie virus has infected her. And I'm guessing because of the bite, Laurent has a little bit of zombie in him. So like when he was birthed, he ha he did have the zombie virus in him, but it wasn't enough to like infect him fully. You know what I mean? So it's a pretty cool backstory and actually really scarily similar to The Last of Us Ellie's. How Ellie became immune, which, like, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. So, my initial thought for the show was that he wasn't immune. And that was just a. Um, 
that was just like a religious belief that like oh my god this kid is like immune because he's smart <laughs> you know what i mean so people were i thought that like the nuns were like basing this whole immunity thing off of the fact that he's probably the smartest kid there and the only kid there and they like found him off the side of the street somehow still alive and then that's how they based off this whole immunity thing but i'm happy that we actually got like a valid explanation and honestly, their their theory about him being immune is pretty valid because scientifically, it makes sense, right? The zombie virus would infect the mother and affect the baby a little bit, but it wouldn't fully affect the baby because it's like it's like a weird thing where it's like the baby is itself like separate from the mom, but also not separate from the mom. So it's like. It's a weird thing, but it makes sense in a weird way. Uh, yeah, and also we met a new group, which honestly, I'm surprised that they were good. <laughs> I'm surprised that they were like decent people. Because I was just suspecting, because from The Walking Dead, whenever you see the main, the main protagonist alone with like a new character, nine times out of ten, that means that the that the new character is a bad person or is out to her um and surprisingly the walking dead actually broke that and was like okay we got we can't make it too we can't make it predictable anymore people are predicting stuff now and we can't do that they come here not to not to find or not to be or not to predict stuff they come here to you know be surprised and stuff like that so they broke the notion that like if the main character is alone with a new character um that means that they're bad um I will say that I kind of wish that The Walking Dead started like showing an actual depiction of Daryl's life because Daryl really talks about his past a lot more than he did in the main show like in the first episode he was saying like daddy wasn't nice or daddy was a smoker or something like that and then in this episode he talks about how him and Merle um him and Merle used to watch this show. My dad said that it was like something about Dick and Mary or something. Mary and John. I don't I don't know. I forgot the name. My bad. So yeah. And it's like just show. Just show us glimpses of Daryl's past. We'd love to see that. We'd love to see how truly horrible Daryl's father was. Because we, we kind of get the idea that that Daryl's father was extremely abusive. Just by how Daryl acts and stuff. And how, how truly broken Daryl seems. Like, even before the show, he seemed like not caring about anybody else but family. And he just seemed so, like, a scarred kick character. He still is. But... You know, and obviously you see like all the scars and stuff, and then one, and then he makes the comment about like da daddy was a smoker. So it's like, damn, did he like cut Daryl? Like, did he like full on beat Daryl? Like to the point where it's like hospitalization and stitches? Because if so, that is like the darkest past you could write for a character. That not only was was he like a hunter and he had to like kill stuff at a young age, but he also had to like he had to suffer. Like there was there wasn't just like small argument fights. There was like bleeding fights, like knives being pulled out. And it's like, god damn. Daryl's like the most scarred character in all of the Walking Dead. 
I also like that we actually got a backstory to the aunt because although it was a little bit unnecessary, it was nice to see like the character she used to be and honestly probably still is. <laughs> And honestly, now now that they showed that, now I'm worrying that, like, she has an ulterior motive that, like, she's going to fuck over Daryl at some point. Just by, just by what they've shown. <laughs> and it's like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. We can't. I don't know how to trust anymore. After years of watching The Walking Dead, you can never really, truly trust somebody unless they're, like a multi-season character and has stayed consistently good. But even then, it's like, can, can we trust you? And I, I, I don't know. And that's, that's the thing with The Walking Dead. That's the beauty of The Walking Dead. Is that you can never truly trust a character. And that is amazing storytelling. That, like, you can make characters essential and you can like, make a good character, but you're also worried so much for the, for the main protagonist that, like, you don't know if you can trust them or not. And that is just amazing. Now, do I think, now, do I think that the aunt will truly become a bad guy? Uh, it's, it depends, man. It depends. Although it's, it's kind of predictable, but it's also kind of not. Yeah. Well, do I think Laurent will become a bad guy at some point? I, I don't know, man. It's kind of difficult to think of it. I don't think Daryl would die in this show. Especially when it, there's actually confirmed a season two. And apparently Carol's supposed to be a part of season two. So it's like you have that too. Um, I don't know. I don't think Laurent would become a bad guy, honestly. I think he would maybe kill a person that's like essential to the story. Maybe that like, that back, <laughs> that backseat nun. I'm sorry, I don't remember the names very well. All I remember is Daryl and Laurent. Um, so, yeah. I don't think Laurent would become a bad guy. I think he would just, I don't know, go off the hinges a little bit, but then Daryl would, like, bring him back to reality. Now, does Daryl Dixon Season 2 take place in Commonwealth? You see, the thing about this is that that could happen. I could see that happening with the bad guy picking up the camcorder and, like, listening to Daryl Dixon, Daryl's speech about how, where he's from and stuff, and it's very clear that the guy is gonna go there. Like, he knows what the Commonwealth is now, he knows where Daryl's from, so he's gonna go attack somebody that Daryl loves um, to get revenge, and so it's like, and also the bad guy knows where Daryl's going, so he might like send a message, or like write a message to Daryl, like, "Hey, revenge! Hey, I'm gonna get revenge! I'm gonna take something away from you!" And just like you took something away from me, I'm going to your home or something like that, and that's gonna like. That's what's going to continue on to season two. I don't think that they're going to make it to their destination. I, tr I genuinely don't. Because I don't see The Walking Dead, especially with, like, how many shows and how many, like, um, seasons that shows are going to be getting. I don't see, um, I don't see, if Laurent is, um, immune, I don't see them you know, doing the cure or anything. That That's just me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, hit that like button, subscribe, 
turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.